Heat maps help us attain visibility into what is happening in the network. Let's say we have an antivirus profile enabled on a security policy. If a virus passes through the policy, a threat log is created whether it is permitted or blocked. Once we get visibility into what is happening in the network, we can work on improving the security. Heat maps can also give management and executive teams confidence in knowing their current state of capability adoption and progress. The Security Policy Capability Adoption Heat Maps analyze panorama network security management and individual next generation firewall configurations to see how the customer is leveraging our prevention capabilities. Heat maps are generated for us to learn the customer's security rule capability adoption. When we say capability, we're referring to wildfire, antivirus, anti spyware, vulnerability, and URL filtering, etc. Heat maps give us insights into the capability adoption based on device group area of architecture, tags, serial number, and vSys, as well as other criteria. Heat maps can also provide data that can help companies identify potential security gaps or areas of focus that have been overlooked. Customers invest in our products and purchase licenses to secure their devices. If our products and licenses are not being fully leveraged, the customer can risk unknown security gaps in their policies. As companies expand or increase in their business, New security rules will continue to be added. Companies may overlook the importance of sticking to the capability adoption, thereby compromising their security posture. In order to see if the latest adoption is working as expected, or if there is a security gap, it's important to run heat maps often, based on the customer's agreed frequency. If a gap or gaps are identified, the customer now clearly knows where they are lagging in security, and can list out their tasks and patch the security gaps. When analyzing heat maps, the best place to start is by looking at these summary graphs. The graph provides a quick overview of where the company is strong and where they are weak in their adoption. The details from the HTML output pages can be used to make action plans for implementation. And the failed best practice check spreadsheet that comes with the report generation gives a list of checks that failed. This list can be used to prioritize which check results should be resolved now and which ones to resolve later.